Yo, what's up guys, Alexa here, and today we're going to be making this Leona General Rocka Alco RSD-16. It was requested by a guy on one of my YouTube videos, so here it is. It's also an Indian Alco train, and yeah, so here it is. Let's get into the video. Alrighty, so first what you want to do is you want to place a block right there, place a upside down spruce wood stair like that on it. And then you want to do the same on the other side, like this. And skip like two blocks, and then on this one, place a upside down spruce wood stair like that. And just keep doing it for all of these. Just like this. And there you go. And then next we'll grab some hoppers and place them on them like this. Just like that. And then you'll grab some nether brick slabs and place them in between them like this. Just like that. Alrighty, the next what you'll do is you'll grab some black concrete, place a 2x5 of it right there. Just like that. And then you'll skip one block and place a red concrete right there, scoop a block, red concrete, scoop a block, just like that. Then fill it in with white concrete, just like that. And then next you'll get a piston and place it right here. Then put in white concrete in between them like that. And then also you'll grab a lever and place it right there and then flick it downwards like this. So the pistons are outwards like that. Alrighty. Then next you'll grab a nether brick stair and, or slab and place them like this for the stairs to the train. Then you'll place a black concrete right there just like that. And then we'll do the gas tank now and these are, it's a really small gas tank for what big of a train it is. So you'll grab some black concrete and on the rail place one, two, three, four blocks of it and that's it. And then you'll grab a nether brick stair place it upside down along this, but then in the middle you want to place two of them like that, and do it again, just like that, alrighty, then we'll just make these wheels again on this side, alrighty, there's one set, And third set, just like that, and place the hoppers on them. Just like this, and then your nether bridge slabs. Alrighty, and then we'll make the plows and stuff on, on, just like the front, but it's on the back. Alrighty, then scoop your block, and then do it every other block with red concrete, and then white, and then pistons, and then concrete, and then your levers. Just like that. You can also put a stone brick slab in between them like this for the coupler. Just like that. Alrighty, and then we'll grab some black concrete and fill it in right here. We want to make it three blocks wide. Just like this. Last row. There you go. Then next we'll make the this right here, the walkway. So what you want to do is get a nether bridge there, place it upside down right there, and then get nether bridge slabs and go all the way down with it. Then leave one block right there and place an upside down nether bridge there. Do the same on this side. Alrighty, there we go. That's it for the bottom part. 
the nets will work on the body itself. So first all we want to do is make a 3x3 of light blue concrete right here at the front. Just like that. Then make light blue concrete so it's like that. And then put some white concrete in between it and then some light blue on top of it just like that. Then do the same thing on the back side just like this. Three by three, like concrete, and there we go. And then also right here, you want to put some light blue stained glass panes, just like that. Alrighty, then next what we'll be doing is we'll be making this little part right here. So you want to go back. Actually, on this right here, you want to go all the way back with the light blue concrete, just like that on both sides and there we go and then next what we'll do is we'll go we'll only go three blocks up oh it needs to be three blocks long and all the way up it's like so it's a three or four just like this and then on this side too and then fill it in right there alrighty now next what we'll do is we're going to come out one block like that and make it a 4x3, so it's like this. Just like that. And then also right here. And also on both sides, make it so it sticks up like that. And then put black stained glass panes in between them like this. And then do stump it stairs along the top like this. And then fill it in with light blue concrete. Just like that. Alrighty. So next what we want to do is we want to make a pillar all the way up right here. Right here. Fill it in. And then next what we'll do is grab your light blue concrete and go down one, two, three, Four, five blocks right there then place a white concrete right there blue concrete and then white right there and then go place a pillar all the way up right here again just like that <laughs> and then place uh, a three by three of light blue shulka boxes right here this is like a big radiator right here or something and finish up the top off with the light blue concrete alrighty and then this is the logo right here, so I'm going to place two blocks of white concrete, then blue, and then white all the way down, just like that. And then right here, you want to make a 2x2 two two of bedrock, that's another radiator, and then place two blocks up of light blue concrete right there, and go all the way down with it, like that. And right here, you want to place bedrock, skip a block, bedrock, skip a block, just like that, and then fill it in. So it's like that. And then next you'll put carpet on top of the bedrock, just like that, and there you go. That's it for this side, then next we'll do the other side. So what we want to do is, on this side, it's not going to be like the same, it's going to be flipped, so this end is going to be over here, just like that. So what we'll do is we'll place one, two, three, four, five blocks of concrete, white, light blue, then place white concrete on top of that, and then, what is it? Place a light blue concrete right there, and then that, or how do you do it? Or no, it's like this. I'm gonna do it like that, and then like this. So it looks like this, just like that. Alrighty, and then make your box of shuffle boxes right here. Make it two by two of bedrock, carpet on top, fill this in, and place your bedrock every other block. Just like that. And also fill it in with light blue concrete down here. Then place your carpet on top. And there we go. That's it for the body. Just like that. And then next we'll do the radiator fans up here. So you want to grab some stomach slabs, place two right there, scope a block, two, scope a block. And then you want to skip block and then place just one right there. Alrighty. 
then next is the handrails for the train. So what we want to do is start at the back right here, place a birch fence right there, and then every other block you want to place it. And then put string in between it. Just like that. And then put liquid carpet on top. There we go. Do the same on this side. And then string. And then carpet. There we go. And actually right here I forgot to put the stairs here so I'll just do that real quick. And there we go. And then next we'll do the handrails on the front right here. So what you want to do is grab your birch fence, place it two up like this on both sides. Just like that. And then you want to place two on top of the pistons, string right there. But you want to place the, you only want to place the light blue carpet on top of the string, not on top of here right here. But you want to place stumbert slabs right there, and then have one hanging down like that. That's the chain that hangs down from the handrails, just like that. And alrighty. Oh, and also right here, you want to place three blocks of light blue concrete right there, just like that. And you want to place a birch fence right there and there and put your string, carpet, and then you want to grab a stumper stair and place it right there. Just like that. Same on this side. And there we go. And then also next we'll grab a birch fence gate, place a block right there, place a fence right there, and make the headlight for the train so it's like that. Also do it on the back side here, just like that. And while we're back here, we'll also do the handrails for it. Place it on top of the pistons, string, and there we go. And make the chain, just like that. Alrighty, and then next what we'll do is we'll make some banners. So you want to grab a black banner, some black banners, some gray dye, some light blue dye, and a crafting table. So you want to place your crafting table down, get in it, and then you'll place your black banner right in the middle right there. Then get your gray dye and make it so it's like that. Make it so it looks like that. And then surround it with a light blue dye in the center. And then place your banner in the center again. And then place the light blue dye down on the bottom, just like that. And that's it. So you want to place that right there on both sides. And now we have one more step. And that step is making the horns. <laughs> So what you want to do, it's, it's kind of an awkward spot for the horns to be, but they're right here above this banner. You just want to place them like this. Don't really know why they're there, but I guess they are, because why not? And that's it for this locomotive. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to smash a like. And if you do like my trains and all that, be sure to subscribe for more future content like this. And I'll, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!